In the following video, you're going to see somebody under total mind control. This Jehovah's Witness is being asked questions and he misrepresents the truth at one point and then when the person nails it down and becomes very specific, you will see that this person, this Jehovah's Witness, who's been a member for 12 years, cannot answer the question. That's what happens when somebody is using what the Watchtower Society calls theocratic warfare. It does not work. This man is under total mind control. The person conducting the interview will ask him, so if I wanted to become an ordained Jehovah's Witness minister, could I decline the study of Watchtower publications? And the answer this Jehovah's Witness gives him is, you could do what you want. Now, if you notice this book, Organized to Do Jehovah's Will, at the end of this book, there are three parts with questions. The first part has 35 questions, the second part has 37 questions, and the third part has 32 questions. And then there is a section for discussion between the baptismal candidate and the elders. One of the questions in that section asks, Do you understand that your dedication and baptism identify you as one of Jehovah's Witnesses in association with God's Spirit-directed organization? And that's on page 215. If you look at the information given, there's only one scripture given, Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. And that reads as follows. For if you publicly declare that word in your mouth that Jesus is Lord and exercise faith in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one ex exercises faith for righteousness, but with the mouth one makes public declaration for salvation. There's nothing mentioned there about being baptized into a spirit-directed organization. This is a teaching that cannot be substantiated anywhere in the Bible that Jehovah's Witnesses agree with upon baptism. So when this Jehovah's Witness in this video that you're about to see makes the statement that you can do what you want, in other words, you can, if you want to become an ordained minister of Jehovah's Witnesses, you can decline the use of Bible study aids, or as it says here, the study of Watchtower publications. And he says you can do what you want being disingenuous, misrepresenting the truth, giving the indication that a person can become one of Jehovah's Witnesses by merely studying the Bible. But now, the person conducting the interview, and it's not me, gets really specific and says, but would you accept me as an ordained minister? And watch this Jehovah's Witness reaction. So if I wanted to become an ordained Jehovah's Witness minister, could I decline the study of Watchtower publications? You can do what you want. But would you accept me as, as an ordained minister? Uh, that would depend on, uh, that would depend on how you, uh, oh, that, well, let's see, how uh, I put this. Hey there. <laughs> okay. okay, let's say that I did study Watchtower Publications. I can see you're kind of stuck, and that's okay. So this Jehovah's Witness was totally misrepresenting the truth from the very beginning. And then, when he was boxed in, which he did to himself, by misrepresenting the truth, by way of what the Watchtower Society calls theocratic warfare, he couldn't answer a simple question. The reason is because he was under total mind control. The Watchtower Society has conflicting teachings that they bombard the members with and they don't realize it. These teachings make sense to them, but yet they contradict each other. The idea that a person can become an ordained minister with Jehovah's Witnesses with just the Bible is a fallacy. You have to go through this publication and you have to sit down with elders and answer questions and one of those questions is that you believe that this is God's spirit-directed organization. What you do when you agree to this is you're entering 
a legal contract with a legal corporation and it's an oral agreement and it's done in front of witnesses when you breach that contract whether it be by teaching contrary to what you're told to teach or by walking out of it in by way of what they call disassociating you are branded an apostate you are equated to an apostate they will give a public talk about apostasy if you disassociate from this religion the members see it happen and they're in fear of this happening to them so they don't say a word because there is an unfair power balance the watchtower society is up here and the members are down here this group can throw out this group at any time it wants separating that person from his family his friends his social identity and his entire social network though it's a microcosm as compared to normal society their minds believe that normal society is a part of Satan's wicked system so they find themselves in a position where they don't know where to go they're completely bewildered no family no friends nothing and that's one of the dangers of the Watchtower Society and I hope this has been helpful for you and I hope you never find yourself under this kind of mind control that this Jehovah's Witness was under. Ciao.